in last week's cooperation update explaining the details surrounding the release of Felucia and the new clone commando reinforcements, we also learned that there would be two community quests coming to Battlefront 2 in October, with the rewards for each quest being the Luke Skywalker Farm Boy skin and the Darth Maul Kenobi Scream emote respectively. With yesterday's community transmission, we now know exactly what these October time quests are and how we can all earn the new Luke skin and Maul emote. First, both of these quests will be running together concurrently, and are time quests in the sense that they must be completed during the start date of Friday, October 11th at 12am Central European Summer Time, and the end date of Friday, October 18th at 6am Central European Summer Time. Complete each of these two quests during this one week period, and the rewards will be yours. So what do we have to do to achieve them? Starting first with the Luke Skywalker Farm Boy skin, this timed quest is called It's Not Impossible, and the objective of the quest is to defeat 150 enemies within the game's new co-op mode. Once you defeat 150 enemies, the new Luke skin is yours. If you're new to co-op, this game mode allows you to team up with three other players for large-scale battles against a team of AI opponents across all Clone Wars era maps. I've had the chance to play it a few times now at this point, and you can expect large swarms of AI bots, which will make this specific timed quest achievable relatively quickly given the sheer amount of AI opponents the game mode throws at you. It's important to note that to complete this quest and earn the skin, the 150 total is an individual tally only, and not a team tally. Further, the 150 defeats do not need to be achieved in a single game. The total defeats carry over from game to game within the mode, so multiple games to achieve the objective is permissible. To claim the appearance once the objective is complete, all you have to do is go into the collection menu to equip it under the Luke Appearances section, which is to say, the appearance unlocks as soon as you have defeated 150 opponents. Moving next to the Maul Kenobi emote, this timed quest is called Exact Revenge, and the objective is to capture 15 command posts on the new Felucia map in the game's Capital Supremacy mode. Right at the beginning, it's crucial to note that the objective can only be completed in Capital Supremacy, as despite the fact that you can capture command posts on Felucia in the co-op game mode, only Capital Supremacy captures will count towards this objective. Once you capture 15 command posts on Felucia, the new Maul emo is yours. In case you're wondering, you're only required to assist in the capture of 15 command posts, so you don't have to worry about capturing a command post all by yourself or anything like that. And just as with the Farm Boy Luke skin, to claim the emote once the objective is complete, all you have to do is go into the collection menu to equip it, as again, it unlocks as soon as you capture 15 command posts on Felucia. The one aspect that might be a drawback to the second quest for the Maul emote is the fact that because you have to complete it on Felucia exclusively, it might take a bit more time to complete simply due to the wait to get into a Felucia game from the rotation. For this reason, I've seen a number of questions directed at community manager Ben Walk requesting a way to play Felucia exclusively during the time these quests are available. I do think that would be a good idea given how long Capital Supremacy games take, but because they didn't include this option when Felucia launched last week, I don't think it's likely they'll add it specifically for these quests. But I will be sure to update everyone here if I find anything confirming this option. Overall, I don't think these rewards will take very long to achieve, and I hope we see more of these types of events month to month going forward. If you've had the opportunity to play last week's update, let me know what you think so far of the Felucia map and Clone Commando reinforcements, as well as the new co-op and instant action game modes. I'd love to read your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching everyone, and as always, may the Force be with you.